Well, hello there. I decided uh, giving this YouTube thing a try. And um, my approach is uh, to learn by doing. And uh, the topic I want to discuss is atheism versus faith. And I think that really that's the, the crutch of the issue. It is uh, no secret that the points and debunking that atheism uh, does is pretty much undisputed to a critical mind. But I, I think there is a very big uh, misunderstanding on the behalf of the atheists why those well-constructed and undisputed points still fail to, to convince any uh, uh, or any significant number of uh, believers. Because the belief is not based on evidence. It is based on faith. And you don't need to know that God exists to believe in Him. That said, I myself, when I made my first video, video was a devout atheist. I still uphold every word I said in that video. Nevertheless, now I am a Catholic Christian. And that's coming from a point where I was like the hardcore atheist type that that knows the 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 arguments and counter arguments and uh, everything in between, and it took a lot of time. A lot of effort and basically I, I well I didn't want to lie to myself so there is this universe we live in and there is the Christian faith that sort of relies uh, well imagines a different universe than the one uh, we observe. So, I knew from the start that what I need to know, what I need to do is to build a bridge from what I know to the place where I can truly believe. Uh, most of my life I've been an atheist and even one time uh, going on a bus, pardon, going on a bus, I, uh, I live in a state, let's say, with many uh, uh, believers of the Jewish faith, and and obviously he was a believer because he had the headgear. And I told him I would give a thousand dollars to have the faith you have. And he said it doesn't cost anything. You just need to believe. And I was like, that's the thing. It's impossible for me. But... I recognized the what the faith gives to a person, a good faith, and how, and you can check this, this is also factually correct, that suicide rates, depression, and uh, a general uh, uh, lack of fulfill feeling of lack of fulfillment 
the satisfaction of the life is way higher in the atheist community than any religious community. That's a fact. So, so I wanted that, but, but I, 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 I couldn't lie to myself, of course. But that's the thing. Reality that doesn't really like it. It is known that God cannot be disproven by the scientific method. So by by that that statement alone, it opens the door for a rational faith based on enough tradition and and there is evidence that Jesus of Nazareth was a real person uh, at that time suffered and crucified under Pontius Pilate and that he was called the king of the Jews and uh, many unrelated sources collaborate that fact um, so I saw some uh, title ones like saying there is no evidence whatsoever that Jesus Christ existed and uh, as a, an atheist I said Obviously, it's it's probably true. I didn't read the article. You know, it's like I'm right that calm. So, but recently I watched a, a video by a guy that is not a believer or a, subscribes to any faith. He's more of a historian. And he did his own uh, research with sources, with uh, uh, in a in a professional manner, and posted his video, and I watched it. And so, yeah, th there are sources out there that collaborate that Jesus of Nazareth was a real person, and. It would be as you would expect it to be said by those people at that time, knowing what they knew, which is the, which is uh, basically not what we know today, and take him for today, which is the Son of God and the Messiah. What else? I wanted to say something else, but I forgot. Damn it. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Scientifically. Scientifically. What is the definition of a miracle? The definition of a miracle, well, bluntly, is, is something impossible. Something that breaks the laws of uh, physics, of... Uh, conservation of energy of uh, you know basically magic something outside uh, of the of the of something that can be proven scientifically and with that keeping that in mind we know that nothing bar space itself but never mind those who know know those who don't it doesn't matter nothing can move faster than the speed of light correct matter cannot move faster than the speed of light that's a universal law of our reality and, and light can do that because it doesn't possess matter. So it, it's pretty much the speed limit. Uh, anything with 
any matter will move slower than the speed of light. Now, um, the Big Bang, uh, the observations that are currently uh, are made, they deducted that the Big Bang, the expansion of the matter from the singularity into the galaxy, that the speed at which the matter exploded surpassed the speed of light by an astronomical degree, which we know is impossible. That's pretty much a miracle proven by science. So yeah, uh, comments are appreciated. I don't know if anyone will even watch this, but, you know, let's be optimistic. See you guys.